We go to St. Finnan's Community School, which is the only school in the country with the condom machine in the toilets. And this is our beloved principal, Barry Walsh. Prick. And Walsh's daughters, do you think they know what was us? Nah. We'd have been arrested already if they did, like. Yeah, that's true. Bollocks. We're gonna have to use a carrot and a stick. Where are we gonna get them? No, you two. It's an expression. We try and get them on our side by dangling a carrot in front of them. And if that doesn't work, then we hit them with a stick. Not a real carrot and not a real stick. We're just gonna go over and flirt with them and ask them to keep their mouth shut. No. I can't talk to them by their girls. There's nothing to be scared of. Girls are just guys with tits. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. Just do exactly what you do. Okay? Okay. Not now. Not now. When we get, get up, up there, there, you don't have to do it now. Stop. Stop. Fuck off. Fuck off. How's it going? How's it going? Hi. Would you look who it is? Fake Billy and his girlfriend. Shh. It's a, it's a secret. I'm not his girlfriend. Relax, babe. Knows. Him, him, me, me, no two E, no two V. Promise not to tell anyone. Depends. What's in it for us? Come here and I'll tell you. What's that? What's what? That little spot there on your lip. That's just my lip. Oh, is that my lip now? Yeah, it is. Is it, yeah? Okay. You alright? Just copy what Jack does. Okay. Just copy. What are you doing? Oh, he's looking over your shoulder. You know, I thought he saw something, but yeah, uh, it's, it's gone now, so. <laughs> Go on, read it, that. <laughs> You're not too bad yourself. Where'd you get that from? It's just practice, isn't it? I used to use like a load of tongue when I was younger, but you kind of realise fast enough that that's not really the best method, Yeah, is no, it? you can never go with the washing machine. That just doesn't work. Let's do that again. What's, um, what's it like being adopted? I'm not adopted. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, okay. Um, Why? What makes you think I am adopted? No, I, I like I don't think you are. It's just uh, you look adopted. How do I look adopted? Your hair is like really black. Try saying black. Yeah, you're, you're black. black. I yeah. didn't even notice. You didn't. No. Are you serious? Oh, it's you. You barely like. I see past. Pigment. Mm. Can we change the subject? Hey, sir. Why are you always giving Jack such a hard time? Because he's a total fuck up. You're not trying to be just like him. No, I'm not. You don't know what he's really like. No? Tell me so. What's he really like? He's, he's sound. I laugh to be around. He's not like the other fellas in school. He makes me feel... warm. Are you gay? Is that what this is? It's alright if you are, it would actually explain a lot. No, ma'am, I'm not gay. But if I were, like, hypothetically, hy hypothetically. Hypothetically, if I, if I were, he'd be the guy I'd want to be gay with. 
I actually just got a mental picture of <laughs> Jack bombing you. <laughs> and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> you think Jack would be bombing me? I'd be bombing Jack? No. If anyone's bombing no. anyone. No, Jack would be bombing you. You'd be his little bitch. We take it in turns. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Your dad was just like that. He'd always have a laugh like that. All we need to do is burn our uniforms and nothing will get traced back to us. Give me jumpers, guy. Who the fuck could take a school jumper covered in paint? When the hell did he get out? Not sure. But this could work out well for us. We just let him wear that jump around town. The police would think it was him who did it. What? Mom stitched my name on the inside of that jumper. Come on. Ooh. All right, Billy. <laughs> All right, Billy. All right, lass. Fuck do you want? Nothing, just saying hi. And I definitely don't want that jumper you're wearing. Why don't you want that? Is there something wrong with it? Nah, just don't want it. It's not something that I'd ever wear, like. Well, maybe I'll make you wear it. There's no fucking way he would make me wear that thing. If I want you to wear it, you're gonna fucking wear it, all right? Not a chance, boy. That's it, you're fucking wear it. Yeah. All right, all right, you're wary. Want you, Jack? Why? I changed my mind. I thought you just said you're gonna make him wear it. No, no, I'm the one who's gonna wear it. All right? Great, because I don't want to wear it. It's a manky old thing. If I want you to wear it, you're going to fucking wear it, are you? There's no way you'll ever get that jumper on him. Look, I'm fucking sick shit of the two of ye, all right? Give me your fags and your money, or I kick the living shit out of the pair of ye. Come on! You're lucky they didn't give you a fucking dig. Yeah. Oh! He's asking for a rally. Are you expecting anyone? No. Hello! 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 Jesus. Hello! What do you saw? Hey. What do you want? Can we come inside? In here? To my house? When I was younger, I used to have difficulty reading body language. But I'm pretty good at it these days. Boys, make yourselves at home. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want you upsetting our two girls, all right? As long as they just get pregnant and not upset, I guess that's what matters, right? For fuck's sake, what are you on about? They're here to sexually involve themselves with Linda and Siobhan. That's why they're here. They're not here for sausages and burgers. Oh, you could have warned me Jack was coming. I would have gone out. The only reason Jack came is because Connor wouldn't go without him. They're like two peas in a pod. We're going to have a lovely fucking evening. You're going to put some sausages on that barbecue and you're going to fucking smile, all right? He's going to be a granny in nine months' time because he wants sausages and smiles today. Have you seen Dad's face?
That's me looks like now because of you. As long as you're happy, that's oh. all that matters, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad you fucking understand that. Good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, good. So good. Best behaviour now, Bar, right? Best behaviour. All smiles. All smiles, yeah. exactly. Happy yeah. fucking days. Yeah. <laughs> Little fucking tricks. There's no need to be nervous. You've seen her looking at you. She can't take her eyes off you since you arrived. I just go up and I say, All right, hi, Linda. Uh, oh, hello, Connor. Oh, that's Linda, is it? Yeah. Crying, all right. Hi, Linda. Oh, hello, Connor. Um, so. Do you want to maybe, do you want to be my girlfriend? Oh, I have to check my schedule to see if I'm busy. Fuck you, so if you don't have time for me, fuck, fuck off. I'll check my schedule and I'm free this weekend. Whoop! Oh. Are you actually? Nice. All right, nice. So what, maybe we could like, go out like, on Saturday or something? I'm free on Saturday, Connor, but you need to give me a kiss. Hey. What the fuck are you doing, boy? Well, you said give me a kiss. Yeah, I didn't say that. Linda said that. Yeah, I was kissing Linda. Just drop it, right? Sorry. Hey, but I see it's Harry. <sighs> so you want to go out with my Linda, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that's all right with you, I really like her. <sighs> and you think you're good enough for her? <clears throat> well, no, no, really. But I guess that's what I'd say. Oh, if she quoted me, I'd be the happiest fellow around. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you seriously think I'd let someone like you go out with my Linda? What do you mean, like me? You mean nothing but a little scumbag knacker. I know what Linda knows and everybody knows it. And I'd never let you near her. <laughs> Saying some nasty shit. I was doing a bit of taunting. That's what happens in wrestling, isn't it? I thought you were being serious. Well, I wasn't. And even if I was, why is it okay to punch somebody in the face? I'm sorry. You need to go. I'll get to this. Lucky. If this was in school, I'd have him expelled, hitting a teacher. What? You should be ashamed of yourself. A grown man fighting a 15 year old boy. And you know the worst thing? You're after breaking your daughter's heart. You haven't taken the time to find out anything about me. You don't know what food I like. What I want to be when I grow up, what I'm good at, what I'm bad at. You just see this face, hear this accent, see my fashion sense, and you've just made up your mind. But there's more going on up here than that. Connor? What 
food do you like? Chicken. Were you back peddling again? What if I was? Well, it just means we're going to have to keep on stopping to put the chain back on, which is a bit of a waste of time when we could be doing more fun stuff. What's wrong with you? I got this bike thinking it'd be good because it has suspension, like, but it still hurts my ass, like. I checked it last night. It was like a bruise in the shape of the saddle. It would be bad. How did you check it? How everyone checks it. Go to the doctor. No. I'm not having a doctor look at my asshole. I put the mirror on the floor and just look down, like. So you saw your ass crack and your asshole and everything there? Don't tell me you never looked. That's disgusting. I'm just saying, even a child knows not to back pedal on a gear boy. Did I ask to cycle a fucking bike? If I know we were cycling bikes, I wouldn't have worn heels. If I don't back pedal, my fucking heel falls off, alright? No need to fucking shout. Do you want a kick? Fuck! Hunter! Your man's looking for you! Oh, if he sees these bikes, we're fucked. Quick wait, cycle! Wait, 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 what's wrong with the bikes? Hey, we borrowed them. From who? Not sure, that's the problem. We're cycling stolen bikes. I know, exciting, isn't it? Come on, come on, pedal, pedal, pedal. I can be feeding the fucking who? Doesn't fucking matter, just pedal, will ya? Fuck's sake. All women need to see is a bit of skin to get them in the mood. I know, I'm not wearing it. Why not? Because there's perverts around. Where? I'm talking about the pair of you, idiot. Mine get changed? Not a fucking chance. Well, what was the point in coming here then? Good question. How do you think things are wrong with them? Alright. They're still talking to us, which is the main thing. Shit, they're looking, they're looking. Make your dick look bigger, warm it up. What, what are you, you doing, doing, boy? What the fuck? Why'd you do that? I was warming up mine. Same. Never talk about that again. Yeah. It's just because of the height I got confused. Me too. <laughs> Jock says I sound like a little girl when I jump off things, but that's total bullshit. Swimming. It looks like he's drowning. Slowly. Are you still learning? Is he all right? Should we throw him a life ring? So embarrassing. Ah, we'll give him another minute. What's that noise? Sounds like a football match or something. Come on, let's see who can grab off the bridge to hoard it. around to catch a glimpse of these giant fish. 
I'm here with some of the locals who witnessed the spectacular events of today. Can you tell me a bit about what you saw? Yeah, the f flipper came like flying out of the f water. Was like, no, they're, they're f tails. You know, they're the f thing at the end, like whatever they call it. Oh, I've never seen a f***ing whale for us. It's amazing. Yeah. It was like f***ing ship. Get <laughs> Well, I think that says it all. Back to you in the studio. Suppose I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. Remember the deal? No talking to me after today. Yeah. Okay. You just said... Shh. No talking. As you wish. This was my first time spending a whole day with a woman other than me man. Feeling pretty confident. So I... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't know where I shouted that. Um, so I was I was just going to say... Uh, you know, because... Because they're going to be like hanging out together loads now and stuff. I was just a bit worried that maybe you're going to be... Um, kind of just really lonely and, and, and sad all the time because you don't have... Another friend now, I was thinking maybe I could kind of like swoop in like a like an eagle and and uh, and chat to you so you're not lonely in school and stuff. Only if you want to, like it's I'm not bothered if you're not, but please. Just five hundred other people in the school. Why would I want to hang out with you? Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> You're... <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow? Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you then. <laughs> How far are we from Skibbereen? Not far. We just passed through Bedfordshire a few miles back. Bedfordshire. You're on the England page, you fucking tool. One mile from anywhere. You carry a lot of stress around with you, you know that? I'm starting to feel stress just being near you. I can't imagine what it's like inside your head. Do you know the reason for that stress? Is it your period? Do you want another black eye? <coughs> Ma'am! Connor, please tell me you're not trying to lift a fucking car. No, I'm checking the wires. I have a plan. In fairness to your son, he can have moments of genius. <laughs> This has got to be the most retarded thing I've seen in my entire life. And you say that about everything we do. That's because you keep breaking your own record. Who's I? It's not going to work. The car's about a half ton, you weigh about eight stone. How many stones in half a ton? I don't know, but not eight. Jack, get up here, will you? Huh? <laughs> it's working. Oh, put that block on the stop going down. It's not high enough. We need something heavy. I 
I'm not heavy. You're heavier than Connor. He's only a small little fella swap and he can shove the block under the car. This fridge or not? This is kind of fun, isn't it? Give me more room. I'm already on the edge. Look, you can hold on to me for balance. You need to bounce a little. And three. Oh, one, two, three, bounce. One, two, three, bounce. One, two, three, bounce. Nearly there. One, two, three, bounce. Ah, your rhythm is all off. I'll lead. The rhythm is perfect. One, two, three, bounce. Just one, one more two, three, bounce. <laughs> one, two, three, bounce. That's it. We did it! Fair play! I did not think that was going to work! Are you okay? Get up! 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 I know what it is! Would you have one? Do your fucking great I think it's best if you stay away for a while. I hear you. Let's take a break. I see you in a couple of days. Oh, Jesus. Why? You're like a boomerang with shit on it. <laughs> Good one. You swear you didn't like me. I don't like you, Jock. Why is that? Connor has so little confidence he'd latch on to anyone and you're taking advantage of that. No, I don't mean... Shut up now and listen to me. He worships the ground you walk on. He listens to your bullshit and he believes it and it's all bullshit, isn't it? He copies what you do, what you wear, what you say. He wants to be just like you. And that's my problem. Because you're nothing but a little scumbag. You know, it's not nice hearing them things being said. And yeah, some of them might be true, but you're not perfect yourself. And I never once said a bad thing about you. You're not coming back with me. Some decisions you can spend fucking ages making. You just keep debating with yourself until you're 100% certain that it's the right thing to do. But most of the time, you do things without thinking at all. There's just something inside you that tells you, you gotta do it.
Jock, get everything you need from here. You're not coming back. Come on, hurry up. Mam's always going on about how me and Jock she had part-time jobs. But who the fuck would hire us? She said start with the people you know. Man, we gotta do two weeks work experience in school. Can we do it with you? Not a fucking chance. Come on, if we can't find somewhere, they're gonna make us work for the school caretaker cleaning toilets. Our daddy's without doubt the worst job on the planet. There's a kid in school who's been putting his shit in the hand dryers and they can't figure out who it is. It's just disgusting, like. I got caught the other day. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck would find that funny? <laughs> Come on, it'd be interesting to see what the fuck you do every day. We're actually really interested in fish. Please, ma'am. Yeah, please, ma'am. I'm not your fucking ma'am. I didn't adopt you. Please. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that working for a living is for decades. Come on, get up. But it's still fucking dark. You have to get up too early. Jobs. You have to travel on a bus with a bunch of langers. You have to put up with annoying customers rattling on about some shit you don't care about. Give me two of them skins. They're overworked. Ah, they caught myself. And underappreciated. I would ask you what you want, but I can't do anything fucking right. Don't cost in front of customers. And you fuck all to show up right. Where's the rest of our dinner? I've got two of you dickheads to feed now instead of one. You try doing that on my wedge. Add some water and give it a shake. And then you do it all over again like a dog. Get up! Five more days of this shit. Welcome to the Matrix, boys. This is one normal people do every day of fucking week. Can we repair any chance of knowing a 50 and then make it up to your next service? Sure, everything else. Right. Yeah, it'll be grand. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was getting bigger as well. Take a trolley down to the wholesalers and collect this order and take as long as you want because you reckon everyone's heads here. The only good thing about this job is it comes with a set of weeds. Behind me is a 426 pound bluefin tuna. The biggest cut off the coast of County Cock in many years. Bluefin tuna, a delicacy in Japan, can reach obscene amounts of money. A record sale for one of these fish on the Japanese market, where bluefin sushi is a delicacy, believe it or not, was one and a half million euros last year. No, the one behind me isn't worth quite that, but could reach 50,000, according to cock fish wholesalers who are currently accepted bids. Not bad for one day's fishing. Sorry, Jim, I forgot to press record that time. We need to go again. Myself and Jock are generally into daytime crime. Nighttime crime can be very competitive. Luckily, fish stealing is a bit of a niche market. When'd you rob the key? I didn't rob anything. I just stopped the wholesaler's lock for a similar looking one yesterday. So if anyone asks, I'm opening my own lock with my own key. There's nothing illegal about that. I pretty much invented a loophole in the laws against breaking and entering. So what we're doing we can't get in trouble for? Not in the eyes of the law. Well, the law can be pretty stupid sometimes. Lucky for us, there's idiots making rules. <laughs> Jesus, it's a bit bigger than I remember. Here's a tip if you're ever thinking about stealing a 400 pound fish. Bring a forklift.
I lift it slowly, it catches on and it goes. So we gotta catch it by surprise. Wait, wait, just talk away. Wait, wait. Feels, talk feels away. wait, wait. Oh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> What do you want? How can we get everyone safely off the bus? Well, I don't want anything. Well, we're all just going on a nice trip together. Okay, thank you. I see you're pulling in. Are you giving yourself up? What are you doing? Someone's ringing the bell. Who's ringing the bell? People, stop ringing the fucking bell! Thank you! Get out of my fucking head! Try, try, try! Where to? I don't care, just keep fucking going! Ah, for fuck's sake, it wasn't even full! <laughs> The number 208 bus has been hijacked and just passed the Donkettle roundabout on the way out of Cork City. We will bring you more as the story unfolds. What's your plan, Billy? We've never done this before. We well, need to start negotiating. That's what they do in the films. If you don't, they'll try and take you out with snipers. What? Tell him what you want. Okay. Hello. Billy, I'm unarmed. Would it be okay for me to get on the bus just to see if everyone's okay? No, Billy isn't here. And if you stand doing that, I'll start shooting dead bodies on the fucking bus, you Is that okay, is that? What the fuck are you doing? But you told me to negotiate. I mean, like ask for a pizza or something. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I'm actually starving. Pizza sounds good, does it? Yeah. Delicious. Oh, I was only messing about the dead bodies. I've got to put the knife away if it makes you more comfortable. Oh. 
Look, if I order some pizzas, will you all have some? You don't have to have it now if you're not hungry. You can bring it home for your supper. It's going to be free. Oh, yes, right. I'll have a 16-inch pepperoni and a cat no wages. Would you like anything to drink? Back the coke. Will I get pepperoni for everyone, or do we have any vegetarians? There's always one. So, one vegetarian, a rake load of wedges, ten corks and ten club orange? Can I have a ten or a? Sure. And I'll have a bottle of milk. Is everybody OK with that now? Thanks. Thanks, Billy. Shh, don't say my name. Shh, sorry, Billy. Have you got a pen? You went to wear track suits in the prison? Yeah, you can kind of wear what you want. That's what it is. There you go. You should tell him. You're on the bus. It's too fucking weird. Here, Paul 15, it's gonna be fucking weird no matter where you tell him. Actually, I think Siobhan might have some hash. Do you want some of that hash? I'd love a smoke. Did somebody say hash? I don't have hash. Why would you say she has hash if she don't have hash? I, I, I thought she had hash. Why do you think I have hash? You said you were big news. Hash isn't big news. It's, it's fucking tiny compared to other stuff. If hash is tiny news, your news must be massive. Come on, what is it? I'm not telling you now. Coke, that'll be big news. I don't have hash and I don't have coke. Well, what have you got? Drop it. Drop it. What like, like pills? Have you got pills? No. Well, what have you got? Will you stop being so secret and fucking tell him, will you? I'm fucking pregnant, all right? Fuck. Holy shit. Congratulations, I am going to be a great guys. Well, congratulations! Well, that was brilliant, guys. I'm really happy for you. How did it happen? With your dick in my fanny. How'd you think? I know that, but I've done that shit loads before. No one's ever got pregnant. It's nice to know. It was all before I met you. This is a good thing. I think. Isn't it? Strawberry love. What the fuck are you doing? She's pregnant. Sorry. Jeez, she's a load of one. <laughs> <laughs>